Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Imran with Arch with Imran and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this exploded axon using Rhino and Illustrator. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Rhino. What we're going to do is hopefully your model is divided up into layers. We're going to do select objects and, ho and make sure your gumball is ticked on by clicking this button at the bottom. We're then going to use the gumball to separate each layer. And I'm going to do this for all of the layers and I'll show you what to do next. Now, if you have sub layers, for example this one, make sure you not only do select objects, but you also keep that selection and go select sub layer objects so you move all of it together. Okay, so now we have our layer split apart like this, we're going to find an angle we like, but first we're going to go um, on this drop down and we're going to set view and we're going to change it to isometric. Now this will ensure you have a parallel view as opposed to a perspective. And we're going to do this until we're happy with the view we get. Okay, so I'm happy with this view, I'm just going to quickly move a couple of things to make sure I like the positioning. Okay, so now we've got that, we're going to select everything or we're going to type sell all and what we're going to do is we're going to use the make 2D command again. Make 2D. Now you should get this option, we're going to make sure it's set to view um, and we've got group output. I'm going to change the layer name to exploded axon and hit OK. Okay, so now if you see we have this layer, we're going to double click on parallel and change our view to top. And what we're going to do is we're going to go file export selected. Now I'm going to just export this as a separate file and we're going to open it up. Okay so here we have our explode axon and we're going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to select it and we're going to go file print. For more details check out the other videos. You're going to change your scale and make sure you're happy with the look of it and we're going to hit print and save it as a PDF. Now we're in Illustrator we're going to go file open and we're going to select this file now we're going to select all our line work and I'm just going to turn the stroke up. Now in here you can mess about with the line work, the opacity, you can add your own lines. For example, we're going to get our line tool. You just want to hold down the rectangle tool and pick the line segment. We're going to pick a point, we're going to hold shift so it's straight. And we're going to go on the stroke, we're going to click the stroke and we're going to change it to dashed line. And now you can also change how big the line is. For example, we'll make it six. You can do this throughout the model and you can pick however you want it to look. We're also going to change the opacity. There you go. And that is how you do it. Um, I'm going to quickly show you after I'm going to mess about with it a bit more and I'm going to show you the final product. But okay, so I've messed about with it a quick bit. This is what I've got. Um, obviously, you guys will spend much longer on it and create much more beautiful artwork. Feel free to share. Um, Hopefully I've now given you guys all the tools you need to be able to do your own axonometrics like this. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and I'm going to continue making content for you guys. Uh, work for university students that should help you get through the course. Hopefully it helps and I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thanks for watching.